Hi everyone, I'm Mr Humber. I'm the Director for Personal Development here at Eden Park High School. Uh, what I do is I overlook the school's enrichment programme, but that's just a small portion of what I do here. I also work with a great team of staff who look to make every single student the best that they can be. First of all, I work with Mr Shuttleworth, who's in charge of our student leadership. So he overlooks our student prefect team and our student body form reps, as well as organising uh, charity events and themed assemblies throughout the year. Secondly, I work with Miss Wong, who's our most able co coordinator, and she overlooks the Challenge Passport, rewards trips associated with the Challenge Passport, as well as organising uh, other trips, for example, university trips. Sec and then finally, not secondly, Finally, I work with Miss McIntosh, who's our aspirations coordinator. So she overlooks the school's careers advice and guidance for every single student. She's arranged previously our Find Your Futures evening, as well as organising, along with Miss Wong University trips, as well as looking to bring speakers in from a range of different careers to talk about their own jobs and how it can inspire our students for the future. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you about the school's enrichment program. So if I quickly show my screen and here we are. OK, so. As I mentioned, the whole idea of enrichment is to try and make our students stand out from the crowd. Now, not every single school has this opportunity for their students, and I really pride myself on the fact that we can do this for our students. Now, the purpose of enrichment, OK, is based on our ethos of equality for all through enrichment for all. So every single student will do enrichment. And that's something not every single school can offer. So every student has these opportunities. They may not get outside of school for, for different reasons. It may be due to time, financial reasons, but what we have here is every single student can gain awards through enrichment. Now, every student will get 100 minutes a week, so it will be uh, most of the time lesson four, and it will be the same length as a normal lesson. Now, most of the enrichment options are termly because they don't need any more than a term to complete them. But depending on the size and scale of the award, then they may take more than term, may take a whole academic year, such as once students get to year nine and year 10, they have the option to do the Duke of Edinburgh's award, which will be run throughout the year. Now, like I said, the whole, the whole idea of the enrichment is that equality for all. How can we make our students and all of our students stand out from the crowd? And as a lot of you may have, um, older siblings or obviously older children. It's not just what you have on a CV in terms of academics that makes somebody stand out. It's that experience that they can bring to a role or to university in the future. Now for year seven, what we're looking at is in the very first half term and up until mid-November, every choose group will experience all of the different options that they have on offer for year seven this year. So weekly they will change so they may have arts award one week or give it a go sport the other week or it could be coding the week after but every single student will have the opportunity to experience these different sessions before they have to choose now form tutors will notify their students as to what they are doing um, especially if they are doing sports so from where the year seven enrichment is on a tuesday the form tutors will notify their students on the Monday or beforehand. To help with this, I have also sent home the rota for these trial sessions. So you can, as parents and carers, uh, look at this and also remind the student as to what they may need for the next day. Now, once they've experienced every single one of those enrichment options, they will get to choose their top four options. That way they would like to take part in. Obviously number one being their top choice and so on. Once I've collected then all of these from the students, I'll then obviously look at them on a big spreadsheet 
and I will try to accommodate as much as the number one choices as possible. And then obviously what I can do from there is then look to go on to the number two and number three choice. Now, once they get this option from mid-November, they will look to carry this enrichment option on until Easter. So they are getting just over a term to do this. Now this maximizes the opportunity for those students who are looking to gain awards to actually complete these awards and gain the qualification. Now, after Easter, like I said, a lot of these options are only termly. So in the summer term, they will get to select a new option. So then that way, if it is something that they may not have tried before, it's really looking to take that student out of their comfort zone and really try and push them once again to be the best that they can be because it may be they are quite hesitant to begin with but actually they may find that it's it becomes an interest or a hobby and something they may want to take outside of school now on a final note like i said i mentioned this uh trial session rotor now you can see on here that obviously every single tutor group will rotate termly now please take note of the tutor groups that are highlighted in yellow in those certain weeks. They are the tutor groups that will need to remember their PE kits for that week. As you can see, they are all to do with sports. So please bear in mind that they do need their PE kits for that week. Now, if there are any questions, if there are any questions from any parents, any students about enrichment, how it's run, um, what they can achieve, then please don't hesitate to contact me. Uh, you'll find my email address on the school website, uh, but it is dhumber at eph.e21c.co.uk. As obviously the year progresses, we're hoping to open up more opportunities for the students because it's not just enrichment, most able, experiences you get outside of the classroom, I believe can be just as important as the experiences you get inside the classroom. So we're looking at obviously trying to set up any extracurricular clubs. And once again, COVID dependent, uh, any trips. As you may be aware with, if you have older siblings in the school, then there is a ski trip planned to go out in March 2021. And for me personally, it's a great way to experience something you may not be able to do outside of school. So this year we're looking at roughly having 106 students go on the ski trip. But once again, COVID dependent, we're hoping to have another ski trip planned for February, March 2022. Hopefully around the same amount of students to really try and maximise that opportunity for all to have the same opportunity and experience as everyone else. Thank you for watching this today, everyone. And once again, if you do have any more questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you very much, everyone. Goodbye.